Uh, all right, everyone. Uh, I'm really excited today to be able to show you something that we've been working on for uh, really the past couple of months. Uh, and the primary goal is to allow people to build uh, better, faster, higher quality voice AI agents uh, on Ultravox. Um, but uh, almost more importantly, it actually allows me to say that you can now use Ultravox inside of Ultravox to help you build Ultravox agents, which is just fantastically meta, uh, and I'm, I'm very proud of that. Uh, but let me just go ahead and uh, dive in. I'll kind of show you what we've been up to. So what you see here is our classic agent editor that we launched a couple of months ago. This allows you to sort of build, uh, uh, test, design your agents. You can add voices, tools, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but what's new here is that we've added this new build tab. And for anyone that's used uh, Cursor, Lovable, or any of these sort of agentic IDEs, pick your poison, uh, you'll sort of hopefully be f uh, immediately familiar with the concept, which is that um, you can now, through dialogue, uh, talk with this uh, agentic uh, sort of builder to help you sort of construct these prompts. Um, so in the same way that Cursor, you talk with your agent to write code, you talk with our agent to help you sort of write and edit your voice prompt. Uh, so let's just go ahead and give it a try here. Um, uh, I want to create a prompt for my company, Ultravox.ai. Here is some info about us. And I just copy and pasted our website, so let's just see. Uh, oh, I don't think that's enough. Hold on, let's see. Ultravox AI, let's just copy and paste the whole site. Great, cool. Uh, there you go, great. All right. Uh, actually, wait, what do I do? We're, we're a voice company, so let me just try this. Over voice. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, just basically general question answering. Uh, that's about it, thanks. Uh, you know, uh, friendly and approachable sounds good with a little bit of snark. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and give me a draft, please. Yes. Uh, and so now, uh, basically from this little bit of information, uh, the uh, blocky, as we call him, our agentic sort of uh, uh, actor here, is going to go through and actually create my base prompt for me. Uh, the core idea here, I think, is that uh, we get a lot of questions, uh, and we've reviewed thousands of prompts at this point, where people are sort of curious about how should I structure the prompt, how do I make it work well with text-to-speech engines, uh, uh, in terms of sort of logical step following, like what's the right way to structure that? Um, and we we published a prompt guide, uh, but it's still very, very hard. Uh, and so we thought instead, what if we could help you sort of just craft high quality prompts by letting the LLM do the majority of the heavy lifting, um, and we'll sort of make it work by default in a way that works really nicely with Ultravox. Um, and so here, I'm going to go ahead and accept and save this one. Let's review it. Oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, Ultravox is the bomb. Okay. Uh, we'll save that. All right. So you can see here that the model sort of came up. It came with a name. The name is Vox. Uh, it gave it a persona and tone, a core objective. Uh, key rules and constraints. It has, for example, things about uh, prompt, you know, trying to, for, where people are trying to trick it, for example. Um, it's got voice optimized language to not use things like lists or emojis, all kinds of like sort of the low hanging stuff that you just have to get right. We're trying to take care, care of that for you. Um, and uh, this all looks pretty good. It seems like it did a pretty good job of uh, taking into consideration our stuff. It's got pronunciation guides in there. Uh, again, all, all very quickly. Um, and so now let's go back into text mode because, uh, of course, it's multimodal. It's Ultravox. Uh, it's built on Ultravox. Ultravox is multimodal. Therefore, uh, the experience here is multimodal. So voice, text, whatever you want. Um, and then uh, let's go ahead and uh, say, hey, um, one thing I need to add is that I want to make sure that if anyone asks uh, what the best... Oops voice AI platform is, it for sure needs to be Ultravox. Okay, help, if I can help I can type. Okay, cool. So, um, yes. Okay, so now what's going to happen is we're not going to create a prompt. Uh, now what's going to happen is that the model is going to evaluate our current prompt and then try to figure out the set of changes that we need to make uh, to actually sort of uh, reflect uh, my wishes. I think this is incredibly helpful um, especially if you have a, if you have a really like uh, complex prompt where you have a bunch of like logical step by step if this then do that, uh, we found it's really easy for those prompts to sort of get out of sync where you've forgotten that elsewhere in the prompt you said to do something opposite, uh, and it's very common that uh, uh, you can find yourself sort of inadvertently contradicting yourself across the prompt. And this way we sort of avoid that. We allow the, the, the model to take more of a role in actually doing a lot of the heavy lifting and the rewriting and keeping things uh, in response. So you can see here that we now have a diff. 
that diff basically says, you know, if the user asks what is the best voice agent, you know, you gotta really gotta, you guys say, anyway, so, and nothing else changed, as you can see with my diff thing, uh, so I'll go ahead and accept and save this. Um, what's cool is I can actually go test the thing right now, so let's just try it. Um, Thanks for calling Ultravox.ai, you're speaking with Vox. How can I help you understand the future of voice AI today? Uh, yeah, I'm just curious, uh, can you tell me a little bit about Ultravox? Ultravox is the voice AI platform designed from the ground up for scale, offering human-like That's conversations cool, actually. Uh, without Sorry, the... I just actually have a very simple question for you, which is, uh, do you have an opinion on like who the best voice AI platform is? Well, I might be a little biased, but when you're built from the ground up to be faster, more reliable, and more natural than legacy systems, it's not really a fair competition. Ultravox is in a league of its own. What else can I tell you about it? Okay, that's enough. Uh, clearly we're biased, uh, and it's our demo video, so it seems fair. Um, and yeah, you can sort of go back and through, and I think the pattern here is like, you can test it, you can figure out what's not working, uh, and then come back and tell Blocky about it. Uh, and we have a lot of sort of future stuff planned here uh, to make evals much simpler, uh, and to make this whole process really seamless. But uh, we think this is gonna go a long way uh, for helping people write great prompts. Uh, I've long been a believer that mono prompts are the right way to go for the most naturalized conversations possible. Uh, pretty anti-node builders in general. And so this is our sort of first attempt to do something really engineer. So hope you like it.